But what we're then going to do, because this cuts the lead at the exact same time. So what we're going to do is we're just going to set that over the top. Placing that over the top, then that's then just going to enable you to do the base as well as the lead at the exact same time. Sits over the top nicely, bringing in our next one. So as this one comes into place, it just sits over the top. Now, if you like to do your boxes, if you like to do maybe home decor items, if you like to maybe do gifts, whether it is uh, soft crafts or whether it is, you know, maybe you like to bake things and make things, now you can then do your boxes really, really quickly. As I say, does the lid and the base at the same time. You don't need to watch and you don't need to worry about having all the measurements or anything like that. But let's take these ones here. And I just want to say as well, we have got so many of you watching, tuning in, across on our Facebook, but also across on our uh, YouTube as well. So we're going to say hi to you all very, very shortly, all over the globe. So it's an absolute pleasure to have your company. Well, today, this morning, which is morning time here in the UK. So let's bring this first one in here. This does all the scoring for you. So if I just tilt it to the side, you'll be able to see you've got the score lines all the way around when it comes to your base of the box. Let's then bring in our next piece just here. Does exactly the same, but what it does is it also then does the lines all the way around. So we're just going to fold it and assemble it. Now keep in mind later on, because these are part of Craft Fault, we've got Craft Fault here at 11 a.m. and then again at 7 p.m. at night. So this is uh, the sort of things that I get to get a sneak peek at first. I get to bring my favourite ones in first. So if you are excited about that, I want to know. I want to see what you're thinking, what you're wanting to do, what you're wanting me to do over time as well. So I'm just going to bring in my scoring tool, which we've got just at the side, just here. Simply just by scoring these lines, just burnishing them, and then it just gives them a nice clean cut image all the way around. So we're just folding over the top. Now you can be doing them in so many different colours, different, different styles that you can be doing. Let me know what sort of things you would want to pop into your box. Like I say, it could be handmade gifts, it could be just something that you want to then uh, just make. Maybe you want to make and sell them. Maybe you know someone that makes their own things. You can then make and sell these boxes to them. It's up to you. Main thing to remember as well, everything at Crafters Companion, designed at Crafters Companion, which means you can make and sell to your heart's content. So let's just add a bit of adhesive all the way around. I'm just taking a tape runner, but if we then just take all these little tabs here, folding these tabs over, and then we're simply just tucking that in just to the side, tucking it over, and then we're just pressing that together like that one. So that one just goes in just nicely. We're just going to, so now many of you, many of you are saying that you actually like that music for the show. It's quite good actually, really funky, really good. So that book, Burt Buns, I love reading some of the names that come up, whether it is obviously on Facebook, but the best names are actually on YouTube. 100%. I love to go through and see what all your names are saying. So let's just fold this one as well. What I'm going to do as well, let's just uh, see what everyone's saying as well, because I'm simply just folding all of these. So we have got Chris, Christy Mahoney. Good morning to you as well. You're up at 4 a.m. to support me. Thank you so, so much. We've got myself. We've also got Erin. We've also got Liam as well. We've even got Adam helping today as well. He's the tech whiz. He knows everything when it comes to tech. And trust me, when I say everything, I mean everything. No pressure there, Adam. So we're just going to add the adhesive onto this bit as well. We've got Katie from California. We've got Helen from Bolton as well. Pat from Michigan. Gosh, you guys stateside, you really, really are up early as well. I know you've got something big craft-wise with uh, Sarah coming up later on, uh, maybe next week, week after. Stay tuned. But we've also got Angela is saying good morning, Craig, from Tennessee. Tennessee saying hi. Sneaky watching on my phone. So you're at work and you're watching while you're at work. Mm, tell me, what your work has? Let me know what your work has. Hope your boss doesn't catch you. If he does, she does, don't blame me. Uh, it's your fault. You know, I'm passing the buck here. We've then got Maxine saying, hi, Heidi, hi, campers, from Heidi campers, right here, saying, hi, from a very cold Essex. We'll get there, Heidi, hi, the Heidi, hi, Heidi, ho, Heidi, ho, Heidi, hi, one of the others, one of the others. And we've got uh, Jaita saying, at uh, 1 a.m. from the middle of uh, California, Southern California. 
Wow. So whether you are here in the UK, whether you are across state sites, thank you so, so much. Absolutely, we've got someone from Texas as well. Tune in, Inca, from Texas. So many across the globe. Anyway, just while I was chatting away, I was just popping them ones together, just with a bit of adhesive. Then what happens is this can then just sit over the top just nicely like that one. So as we pop the lid on, then what happens is we're just going to sit that one into place. Now, instantly, that gives you your box so that gives you your lid and that gives you your base as well you can then come along and decorate it so you maybe want to decorate it with any of these stamps that you're also getting in that bundle because remember you're getting their double-sided dies but then what we're also giving you is we're giving you the stamp set as well which you can create that nice wreath however what you're also getting and actually I'm gonna have to lean over because I've actually sneakily cut into it already but you're getting your A4 cardstock as well not just any cardstock it's our pearlescent cardstock it's from Sarah's signature. So you're getting all of these sheets. So you're getting four colours. You're actually getting six sheets of each of them. Now keep in mind, yours won't be die cut like my ones, but look at the tones that you're getting within these ones here. I promise, I promise you will not get these ones as well. So these are getting that opportunity for you at home to get a head start when it comes to the craft fault. Everything when it comes to the craft fault is buy one, get two free. That's everything. So I want you to check them out. But then what we can do is we can show you something we're going to then preview just later on. Bring in something. It could be your edibles. It could be your die cuts. It could be anything that you've got at home. Bring in your paper pads. You can then just see that you're then just popping that one onto the top just there. So you think about all the different things you've got within your crafty stash. Let's actually just cut that and then we will then just pop it onto the box because we're actually, in case you want to know how to make that, that's also coming up in Craft Vault. We'll show you that later on in the show as to how you can create this style. So a bit of adhesive all the way around as well. So let's just pop that one onto the back. Then all we're simply going to do is just pop that over the top that gives you a nice focal point when it comes to the actual decoration you'll be able to see within this one here it's got the sentiment already so really quick really simple you can be creating your boxes for all these different occasions maybe you just want to stick uh, a few little handmade cards in just say you're thinking of you or thank you or anything like that you can be doing that. But that is just something that's going to be coming up throughout the day. It's going to be on Craffle, which is in at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. as well. I'm going to be on the 11 a.m. one with Joe. So remember, everything that's going to be in with that Craffle is going to be buy one, and you're going to get two free. I would do a shout out and do it buy one, get two free. But seeing it's only me, we'll just say it. It's buy one, you get two free. Now, going on, we're going to then just introduce my, kind of like my second guest, but really the main guest, absolutely. We've got Sarah. She is the founder and the creative director of, of course, Crafters Companion. But she does so much more than just crafting. Have a look. This is going to show you, it's going to give you a wee sneak peek as to what she likes to do when, you know, she's not in the building crafting. Morning, so this is me. Most mornings, half past five. Oh, morning, so this is me. Most mornings, half past five, up for a run before work. Set us up for the day, tremendous. Although, pretty cold at the moment, I'm not laughing. Rather you than me. I can't well, even run to the end of the street, never mind doing what you do each morning. <laughs> do you know what? Lo loads of you ask me about this all the time. And I keep mentioning a little bit on the shows. And it's, but it's nice to have this show, isn't it? To be able to talk a little bit differently about other stuff, not just all about craft. So, yes, I've been going running now for, what, about 18 months, actually. So, I'll be really honest. Um, I, so, I had gestational diabetes. I don't know if you knew that. I, I didn't, had, actually. Yeah, I had gestational diabetes through both of my pregnancies. And so they have told me basically, I need to, I should really be keeping my weight under a lot more control than what I probably am. Certainly what I was over Christmas with all the goodies. She says, having brought cakes and marshmallows in today. Uh, by the way, our Charlie baked you the cake. Aww. And uh, and I baked you all the mash. Not not all for you. No, I baked okay. the marshmallows. So uh, yes, we've got marshmallows and cakes. Seems it was a special day for his first show. So I'll leave them there. You can enjoy them through the show. Absolutely. But, um, but yes. Okay. So my. Um, gestational diabetes that I had so the doctor advised me you know why don't you just go running a couple of days a week and I said 
You've got to be kidding. Have you seen my schedule? I'm up at six o'clock every morning, get ready with the kids, get the kids out of school, get into work, full day at work, get in, barely get the kids' tea sorted, homework, yada, yada, off to bed, and I'm goosed, and I go to bed about half past seven, eight o'clock most nights. And she says, oh, well, just go on the morning. Before, why, why don't you just run on the morning? If you need to be in, if you need to start getting ready at six o'clock, then just get up at half past five and do half an hour, a couple of mornings a week. Well, it's easy when someone says, it's yeah. easy to say that. Exactly, yeah. Easy. And she said, you know what? Three months, I'll make it a habit. If you do it for three months, then it will become habitual as it was. So that was in the September. September, not last year, the year before. By the Christmas, it was just part of my routine. And then I will say, all the way through lockdown, um, the first lockdown last year, that was my thing. I went, you know, a lot of people really struggle yeah, and it's just, yeah. they say do something for your well-being my thing was the running and just getting up every morning and actually i started getting up even earlier when the mornings were light and i would get up and go running it would give me the headspace to get into gear for the day and honestly i really enjoy it yeah but i bet you do i bet you do is there anything else well i say anything else in running that you want to achieve i know obviously you do run each day is there anything obviously without you know beyond crafters combined when it comes to running have you maybe thought of maybe marathons anything like that well Last year, so um, my friend Deborah Meaden, so Deborah, who uh, she's one of the other dragons on Dragon's Den with me, she asked me if I would do a virtual half marathon w with her last year to raise money. So I said, yep, absolutely. And I was going to be doing that half marathon on my own. And then Laura, one of our producers here, who you'll hear us talk about all the time, she's one of the special people who gets to sit in the little box next door and keep us right, talking about where you are on the show. So Laura was into running as well. So I said, oh, do you fancy doing it with us just for fun? So Laura and I ran a half marathon, so 13.1 miles, or it was 21, my watch measures in kilometres, so we did 21 kilometres, and it was wow. a day, it was absolutely tossing down with rain, we were out there, we were soaking wet, uh, but you know what? We kept each other going. And I it bet you was did. Brilliant. I bet you did. Yeah, because as you say, Laura as well. It works behind the scenes as well. She loves her running as well. She, she absolutely age. loves it. But I can't believe you ran that far. Yeah. And I, to be honest, I can't believe it. And I haven't run that far since. But uh, I'm hope I was just chatting to her out, uh, outside, actually. I'm saying outside. Outside of our studio here. Uh, just was sitting backstage and I said, right. She said she's going to try and run 2,021 kilometres in wow. 2021. I said, right, <laughs> we better get a couple of half marathons in there then to get you bumped up. And I went running with Ben one morning. I, I noticed that well. you've got Ben. I noticed because Ben likes running. Into it. Get, mm. Getting everyone into it. The thing is, right, I, I, if Not you me. run Not Instagram me. or if you're on Facebook, if you watch my stories I keep everyone up to date in my stories every day so uh, yes I'll be running nice and early in the morning I'm going to try and get Ben into an early one on Wednesday so plenty behind the scenes pictures keep you up to date really really busy absolutely and I know because uh, a bit like me as well we're only always on social we're always on Instagram so you just go across onto Instagram go to Sarah Davy CC and then you're going to see all the stories we tend to like doing stories a lot don't we yeah. something about stories I think it's more personal you actually get to see us and hear us and see what we're actually doing. Well, we're doing. both cut from the same cloth, a bit, a bit too much gossip. <laughs> stories yeah, stories are like the virtual way to gossip, isn't it? <laughs> it's like some, sometimes we craft and we work and we do whatever and we've got to tell you, well, let's pick up the phone, let's do a bit of an Insta story and see Perfect. what everyone's saying. But thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Oh, Try absolutely. one of my marshmallows. I'm going Go to, on, yeah, tell them what the, uh, lemon drizzle flavour. I love lemon. So lemon. they are, mm. I did them, you know sugar and crumbs? We did a few lives with sugar and crumbs yeah. a few times. That's my sugar and crumbs icing sugar and one of the recipes I found on their website. I will share it on my Insta story. Look, look, look at this, yeah. right? I'll take a photo now and what I'll do is I will go and share a picture on, I'll go and share the recipe over on my Insta Tag story. Tag me I'll and then I can well. share it as well. Job Absolutely. sorted, Perfect. job sorted. Are they all right? Awesome. Amazing, absolutely lovely. Love Wonderful. it. Love them. Right. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your show. You enjoy. I will do. I will do. Thanks, Hara. <laughs> See you all soon. Bye bye. See you. Now, so what we're waiting to do is because, after all, it is my show. And we've just had that lovely bit of uh, marshmallow. Need a bit of a drink. Right, let's in the next bit. What we're going to do is we're then going to show you what's coming up later on with Debbie and Joe on Masterclass. I know, I've not seen Debbie for ages, so we'll get a bit of a distant virtual hug. But this is coming up at 1 p.m. They're going to be showing a range of edibles. It's kind of like a bit about edibles, but what I've chosen on these ones here is these are our border word edibles. So within these ones here, with them, what they are uh, enabling you to do is to do the actual demonstration, being able to do the die cutting, but 
these are actually being designed by Debbie. So Debbie is the one that actually designed these ones when it comes to this full collection. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, show you, show you them how they work. I showed you a sneak peek as to how they look. What we're then going to do is let me just move these one out of the way, because after all, it's just me that's in here on my Todd. So if I leave a mess, my fault. So let's show you what you're going to be getting within these ones here. So this is the one that I'm going to be showing you on here. And you can see on your screens, I'm going to be doing these ones here. But we'll, we'll get, I tell you what, if you, do you want to have a look at the full set that you're getting? And then you'll see that there. So that's everything that you're getting all onto there. So within these ones here, you are getting best wishes. You are getting thank you. You're getting with love. You're getting hello. You're getting good luck. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. And funny enough, we're going to end up on congratulations. Congratulations. So what these do, these are all about the edgeables, but as I say, they're going to cut the edge, but it's going to stay in place. If you're not sure what that means, let me show you. So what we're going to do is let's take our plate. So once again, I'm just going to be using uh, our large Gemini plates. I've got the large Gemini. What I'm actually going to do is we're using the large Gemini, but let's use our junior plates because we can do that. We're going to bring in the die as well. And then just as we get ourselves set up, we'll go back across, have a look, see what everyone is saying. But this is our die here now you'll be able to get a good look at it here now what we've got on this top part here is what it's uh, called as not having a cutting edge so that everything above is going to stay in place I'll explain that in a moment but everything underneath will die cut out so I've got my cardstock all ready to go so let's bring in our layers here now you absolutely could be using the cardstock that comes within that first bundle that we showed you I'm just going to use some of our texture cardstock here so within this one here I'm going to bring in some of my low tack tape just to hold down our actual die into position. So I'm bringing in one of these. I have got them all done, so you're not going to have to wait and watch me do every single layer, but we will just start to layer them up. Anyone that is wanting to know, I've cut each of these layers to six inches by two and a quarter, so that gives you a bit of an idea as to uh, how, uh, how big it's going to be or how small. So we've got our die now. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm going to bring this one into place just here. So I'm bringing it down just so the die is towards the bottom of the cardstock that you'll be able to see just there. So while I just do that, let's just get everyone's comments up and running so we can have a read in a moment. Using our low tack tape, it's just going to secure it. Just going to pop it into place. It's going to hold it into place just while we are going to run through and do the die cutting. So we're just going to turn it around. We're going to then layer up our plate. And then what we can do is we can feed it through into the Gemini. So that's just going to feed it all the way through. It's then going to die cut these areas. And then what we're going to do is if we just bring these layers in just here, and then we're just going to peel these ones off. So if I just peel these bits off here, and then if we take this bit out, you'll be able to see how this die cuts. We've got all of this detail that runs right along. We've got the word that says congratulations that you can see just here. And then what it shows you as well, how I was on about, how everything above stays in place. So you can see there, nothing is die cut. All of the detail is along the bottom. And here's a little uh, tip for you as well. See all these little circles that die cut out? You know, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say keep them all, but if you've got a little tub of that, these work great as little embellishments. You know, instead of gems or pearls, I like to use them in place. So just a bit of a different take, or maybe if you like to do your shakers, you'll be able to use them for the inside of your shakers. So what we can do is let's do one more. Again, I've got a couple of layers already done. So I'm going to then just bring in our tool as well. Anything else that you see myself using, that we don't go over, you will find across on our website, which is, of course, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or if you are in Europe.eu. So what we can then do is let's bring in just another layer just so we can explain that once again. And there is a reason I've got them to all these same sizes because they're going to layer up on top of each other. So popping our die on top, bringing in our low tack tape. Now, if you are an avid die cutter and you may have our Gemini Go or you may have our Gemini Mini, these will even go through these ones. Depending on the size, obviously, you know by the, the actual width, because it is uh, two and a quarter inches I've cut it through, it's going to go through your small die cutting machines, no problem at all. They will, of course, go through your Gemini, works best with the Gemini. But if you don't have a Gemini, 
any die cutting machine out there that you've got. They are classed as what we would say as a wafer thin die, so they're really, really, really small, really thin, which means they're going to go through any die cutting machine, so you don't need to worry about that. The only thing you need to uh, just be aware of is the actual plate combination, or as we say, the plate sandwich. Not one that you're going to eat, of course, but you know, that is what we would say, the plate sandwich. So let's bring this one back out. We're going to get the same result. However, what's going to be different is, of course, the colour, because of the colour that we've used. So we're just taking these little bits out here. So if we just take these ones. So now we've got Jane. Jane's actually saying her son, he got these for Christmas. And he loves them. He loves using them. He bought them for her, and she loves them. Fab. There's go. But then let us see. Let us see what you are uh, making. You know, post your pictures. We really do want to see what you're making. That is one good son, absolutely. Maybe your husband's have bought you stuff. Maybe your wife's have bought you stuff. Good to see what uh, you are making at home. So here is two of them. So we've got these two that we're now die cut just nicely. So what I'm then just going to do is I've also just brought in a piece of patterned cardstock that we can see here. So it's a patterned cardstock. Any patterned cardstock that you've got at home will be absolutely fine. And then I'm also going to bring in a few that I've already done to start with. So the same colours I've already used, I've also done one bit of a deeper purple for this one here and we're going to just be layering them up. Now this sheet that you can see on the back, this is just something that we do sometimes have in stock just with everything that's going on in the world that is taking a wee bit longer to come back in, which is our Xyron machine. However, what you can still do is use our sticky sprays, use our dotty tape runner, use our glue, any of the adhesive that you've got at home works just perfectly as well. So simply all that I'm going to do is take in one of these. So we're going to bring in uh, one of these that we've uh, already pre-cut that you can see here. So we've got all three of them and we're good to go. We're then just going to take this one here. So this is the lightest colour and then we're going to bring in this deeper shade here. So I'm just peeling this off. Again, this has already got adhesive on the back, but you would then be just come on with your tape runner if you don't have a Xyron machine. I'm going to bring this one down and I'm just going to overlap it slightly. So if I then just pull this one up, so what I'm doing is you'll be able to see that light blue just coming along, just along that bottom, just nicely. It's just peeking out. Don't worry about any of this. This isn't going to be seen by the time that we're finished. We're then going to then peel this next one. So what I'm going to do is pop this one on here and we're just going to pop these along the top too. Now, if you want to see more demonstrations, see different ways how to be using these, these are coming up on Masterclass 1pm here in the UK. And keep in mind, it's Debbie and it's Joe. So Debbie is the one that came up with these. This idea, this concept of the sentiments within the die. So no one better to actually show you what you can be doing with them than Debbie. So now what I'm going to do is, because we've got these two bits good to go, and I know you're maybe thinking that it's maybe just a little bit uh, fussy there that you can't see, but what I'm going to do now is, this is something that I've already pre-done. So these little bits here, I've die cut this sentiment die into white cardstock. This is what we would class as the waste. So all these little bits that come out, you could use a pokey tool or your brush just to take all these little bits out. And what I've done is, again, I've just popped it through my Xyron, but you could just use your tacky glue, just with your little fine nib. You're just going to pop adhesive onto the back, and then what happens is that's going to make it sticky, and then that's just going to enable you to just pop it back into place. So what we'll start to do is let's bring some of these back in. So let's uh, do a few of them, just so you can see how it's actually done. Now this is where something like your pokey tool is invaluable. This is something that you want to be using time and time again, because it helps. Oops. So we're popping all these bits back into place. So what we can do is we can just pop this all the way in. Now, I'm not going to spend the full time doing all of these, but we will start to just assemble it. We'll bring back in the box that I've already done in the first demonstration to let you see what it looks like. And then we're going to go on. We're going to have a read of a few comments and see what you're all saying. But not forgetting this is going to be coming up in Masterclass later on. Now you would just carry on, you're just going to finish off that last bit just here, popping in all of the little bits. Let's bring in this bit of cardstock as well. Just popping a bit of adhesive all the way along the back here. Now I'm popping it onto a bit of cardstock, it just stabilises it that wee bit better. Then what I can do is bring this one back, layer that one over the top into place there. You can neaten it up with your paper trimmer, your guillotine, whatever you have at home that you feel comfortable using. 
and then we're just going to trim that one. So we're just going to trim that excess bit off here. Now, this is where it starts to come together. It's going to really pop out. It's really going to enhance that sentiment that runs along the bottom that you can see here. Then if I bring in that box that we've done right at the very start, this lets you see how you can then decorate all of these uh, little bit white bits that I've just popped into place that you can see here. Again, we've finished off with that sentiment. So this is where it could be the edgeable of a card, or what you can then do is you can then, of course, just pop it onto boxes or anything to decorate. It's entirely up to yourself. So that's just one of the things that you can then be doing when it comes to the actual edgeables. So what we're going to do is let's pop this to the side. Let's have a look, see what everyone is saying. So saying hi to uh, Liz. Liz is actually actually popping on and saying hi to you, saying, I have to confess, I bought this die set a while ago and you've never used them, Liz. Come on. Get them used, have a look, see what you can make with them and then uh, share some ideas onto uh, our Facebook. Uh, Diane, I don't get up this early for, oh, I don't get up this early for anybody, but Craig, you are so special. I had to be here for your very first show. Thank you so much, Diane. Uh, Crafty Stacy on YouTube saying, loving the show this morning. It's like a good old catch up. It absolutely is, isn't it? Spe certainly for a Monday as well. It's nice to see what uh, everyone is saying. Uh, Sarah saying, Craig, you're doing uh, uh, such a fantastic job. Thank you so much. Bit nervous, but you know, it's just the beginning. Not forget, we're going to be here every single day, Monday to Friday, for an hour. And when we have got... Uh, we have got Sonia saying, wow, I just got through running right now. Now I'm here. Well, you caught us in time, which is great. Uh, Laura Fair is saying that you miss running. A lot of you actually are saying that you do do running or you, uh, you've you not been doing running for a while. You might need to get into it. Lynn is saying, I'm doing remote teaching from home and watching with the AirPods in one ear. How many of you are actually uh, either doing some work, maybe doing a bit of teaching and you've maybe got one of your earphones in and watching? Because I know there's many of you that do do that or you're sitting at your desk. So keep on, uh, keep on commenting and see what you're all saying. We, uh, really nice to see what you're all saying. Uh, Christine is also saying, Ed Craig, you're doing a fantastic job on your first show. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate your comments. Right, so if uh, you want to see more about the Edgeables, if you love the Edgeables, then what you're going to do is 1pm, you're going to be uh, tuning in for Masterclass. It's going to be Debbie and Joe. They're going to go through a range of different things, different styles, different uh, looks that you can be doing when it comes to the Edgeables. A few different ways as well as uh, obviously your cards that you can be doing. Right, we're going to go into now, we're going to check in with my mum. Mum, are you there? Is I she am. There? She is indeed. Yes. Hiya mum, how you doing? I'm now, fine, thank you. you oh, yes, I'm doing good, thank I'm doing so good. Uh, did you grab uh, something that I had uh, made you in the past? Sorry, what was that? Did you uh, grab what I uh, made you in the past? Something special yes. that I made you? Yes, what, yes, yes. what was it? What was it that I made you that you, you've uh, kept? I, well, actually, I know you've kept a lot of things, but uh, what was it that you've kept and you're showing today? Well, my favourite is your uh, scrapbook that you made for my 50th. Right, yeah. It's huge, Craig. It's I can't pick it up and show. I could show the work thing you made for uh, for the nice anniversary. Yeah. The way. Yeah, show that. That would be good to see. Right. That'd so be really good. Uh, oh, I remember that. I remember doing that one. Yeah. That's for your uh, anniversary, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, they were. Oh, uh, that was. I was. DVD. We put it's your DVD in. Yeah, you put the DVD in. If I can get that out. <laughs> it's a bit of stuff. Anyway, Don't worry. Cool? Don't worry. Got all the pops. Uh, now, because, uh, Mum, where was it that you and John got married? We got married in Florida. Yeah, we did indeed. Well, I say we did. Well, me, me and Paul, older brother, we came to as well. You know, it was the four of us who got uh, married. It was Cy Cypress Groves, wasn't it? Yeah, Cypress Grove Gardens. Yeah, yeah, that was lovely. I actually have one of you, your brother. Uh, Do you? Us. Oh, look, there's the four of us. So that's my stepdad. And that's at Cypress Grove. Ah, uh, yeah, so that's John and you. And then, obviously, me on the left. Oh, gosh, look at me. Oh, look at me. And then yeah, my older... Yeah, was a young boy then. Yeah. I hope, I hope Paul's not watching. Uh, I don't think he'll be too chuffed you were showing his picture. He's still out. Oh, is he out? Is he? He's probably out on the golf course. Oh, there's the two of us. 
Lift it up a wee bit, Mum. Lift it up. There we go. Yep. It's kind of like our boy band pose. They were back in the day, yeah. I and do. then you're on the back. God. That was a celebrity. Yeah, well, I'm, I was going to ask, actually. But actually, I'm, no, I'm going to be honest with you. Erin, actually, in the gallery, because we've got Erin, we've got Liam, is actually asking, now I know this question, I know this answer. Did I get my crafty side from you? No, you didn't. No, I did not. No, I didn't. <laughs> Although, definitely not. No, def definitely not. I was trying to think though, so I would have thought actually, um, I'm going to actually share some pictures onto uh, my uh, Facebook later on. We're going to be showing a picture of me and you in a minute. But I, I would have said it was my granddad that got, I got my crafty side because he'd done a lot of drawings and I actually uh -huh. looked out some drawings last night. I'm going to post onto my uh, Facebook and that and maybe I'll give them to Ern and Liam, maybe get them up for another day as well. But then uh, this is actually, believe it or not, this isn't actually the first time I've kind of been on TV or actually either of us have. Have we? I know we've got a picture just coming up in a moment. Check this one out. Look at that. That was, that was back in March 1999, me and you. That was for Mother's Day. That's right. Mother's Day special. Yeah, Mother's Day and a comic relief special. Obviously here in the UK we do yeah. a comic relief charity. So that's me yeah. and you. Look at that. Oh gosh, can't believe that was so long ago. Was that like 21 years ago or something like that? Scary. Oh, it's more than that. It's more than that. It's 20, yeah, no, 20, yeah, yeah. right, 20 years ago, yeah, yeah. Well, let's not have an argument live, let's not have, let's not have one. No, we don't let's, argue, if, we don't argue. We, we don't actually, we don't, no, we don't live. Uh, right, Theo, so is there, is there, oh gosh, is there anything that you would tell the viewers about me that I wouldn't? Um, that you suffer from Crohn's disease? Okay, yeah, yeah, yes. Some might know that, but a lot of people might not actually know that. Yeah, absolutely. That's uh, that's something that I do. So you know, if you don't do, obviously, it's something, and it's why I got into crafting. That's the exact reason that I uh, I got into crafting all these years ago. And obviously, I used to do it on the dining room table, didn't I? As well as the bedroom. I have one here, Craig, to show if you want. Yeah. Okay. What is it? Oh, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> wow. Gosh, look at that, yeah. There we go. Now, whatever you do, do not show Bernie that one. Do not show Bernie on her soft crafts, that's for sure. But yeah, yeah, oh God, I, I can't actually even remember doing that. I know it was obviously a horse, because you love your horses. You know, I know that that's why I done that one, but that's something I can actually, I didn't even get my show, sewing skills from you either, did I? No, no. You, 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 you did, you didn't. But then you also <laughs> were into horses as well, remember? I, you, that's right. I, yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I uh, used to really be into horses as well. God, that was uh, quite a long time ago. But, oh, Mum, thank you so much for uh, tuning in and uh, coming in on my first show. I think, I think though, maybe uh, by, by the looks of it, I think maybe we need to do it again sometime. Are you up for that? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Show Br more things, more of your craft that Past. There you go, yeah, you can uh, get digging out and seeing all the different things as well. Actually, we should actually post uh, some pictures of that cupboard. The guys, Adam and that, were uh, all the way with the cupboard when we were doing Skype tests with all the characters that I painted. So I must uh, oh, yeah. pictures of that. So we'll do that another day yeah. as well. Um, but again, thank you so much, uh, Mum, and uh, I'll give you a FaceTime later on today. Okay. Okay, no. See you later on. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's my mum. That's my mum tuning in. Right, Dio, we have got now one last preview to show you. Uh, and this is my uh, final pick, which is coming up on Monday Makers at 4pm, which is with me. And it's uh, something that, again, I picked, as I just said, because uh, I love these ones. I love our apertures. I love our silhouettes. And these are then going to be our animal ones that we are uh, choosing. So within these ones here, you're getting that selection. You're getting the four of them. You're getting the deer, or the stag, as I like to call it. You've got the butterfly as well as the bumblebee. Now, we've got the rabbit as well. If you guys from the States are watching, that bumblebee was not available on HSN. So if you didn't get that originally and it's something that you actually uh, want to get now, you want to tune in, then uh, do that. Tune in on Monday Makers with myself and Joe and we're going to show you so much more. But let's just give you a wee bit of a teaser as to what you can be doing with it because there's so many things because it is an aperture die set. By being an aperture, what it means is that we're going to take the, the deer or the stag, as I like to call it, you know, stag in Scotland. You'll be able to see in here that we've got several dies. Let's see if I've got another bit of cardstock just to pop that underneath so you get a better view. 
let's just pop that one here. So this is where you've got, if I turn it that way, so you've got the option to do all of your apertures because you've got separate dies. You've got the detailed die that has the deer or the stag in them. You've got the outside, you've got the trees, you've got the branches, you've got even some sentiments as well. So you can have a lot of fun when it comes to this set, when it comes to this collection. Use all of them, use one of them, it's entirely up to yourself. So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to use our junior plates. Let's just again, just quickly, let's just see what everyone is saying. Oh, a lot of love for, for my mum. Uh, a lot. You, you love seeing her when uh, I do lives uh, from home. Uh, she pops on sometimes and you're always, uh, you're always so nice. She sent her so many lovely happy birthday messages last week, which I know she really appreciated. So what we can do now is bringing in our junior plates for this one here. Now when it comes to silhouettes, of course you can do any colour that you want. I do like to do blacks and browns because I think that really adds to the effect. So I've got some black cardstock here. This is just our matte black cardstock, but it could be any, and I've cut it to five by five. So what we can then do is if I bring the centre die, so you've got your outside die used on its own. It's a matte layer if you want. Create an aperture with it. But what I'm doing is if I bring this one into place here, and this is where you've got the deer. You've got the little deer as well. It's so, so cute. The detail that you get within it is so, so cute. So what I'm going to do is uh, pop that one into the middle just there. Now, we've got, certainly in, uh, in Scotland, we do have more stags when it comes to, uh, to Scotland. Uh, more of the stags. I don't actually know... What they, I know obviously a, a stag and a deer is, is obviously different in some form. I don't know if there's, we, we, might, we might have to uh, search for that one later on, tuning in maybe the next show we're back on is Craft Fault, we'll maybe see if we can find that out. But certainly when it comes to Scotland, we would say that the stag, it's really nice to have that stag. So many of us have stag apertures or stag frames on our walls. But what I'm doing is I'm just going to pop this with into the middle of my cardstock and I'm just going to tape it down. You could be more precise if you want to measure it. I'm just going to just tape it down with my low tack tape. Because it's a wafer thin die, again it's going to go through any of your die cutting machines. But I'm just going to layer this one up and we can run it through the Gemini. Think about the things that you can then be popping on the background. This is all the different things that you could do when it comes to your inking, when it comes to obviously your mixed media backgrounds. This is kind of thing as uh, what Monday Makers is all about. It's about more advanced. So it's then bringing your cars, your projects, anything that you're making to the next level. So you've maybe been crafting for a wee while. You're maybe uh, just getting a bit stuck in a rut like we do sometimes, not sure what to create. Then what you can then do is tune in to Monday Makers. We'll give you some more advanced information advanced detail ideas as to what you can be creating with your products so there we go straight away we have got our stag look I just I absolutely love that look absolutely love it so what I'm then going to do is if I pop that one to the side I'm going to bring in a piece of craft card here and with this one here for anyone wondering it is three and a quarter by three and a quarter this is just our craft card and I'm going to take this next die so this one here, you've got all your tree trunks, you've got all that branches you can see when it comes into there. You've got all the little die cut details as well as the embossed detail. And this also cuts out. So although I've cut that to specific size, you don't need to really worry because what happens is it will cut itself. And if I run that one through, just taping it on just lightly, we're going to press that one into place. Let's bring my plates in once again. So we're going to do our plate combination. In case you're wondering when it comes to the Gemini with ours, when I'm saying the plate combination, it is our base cutting plate. We have our die and we have our cardstock. We've then got our plastic shim, magnetic, and then our top cutting plate. That then gives us the look of this. So if I pop these bits out, so let's take these ones out here. You've got little release holes, but that is it's just tiny little holes that enable you to take the die out. Let's see this one here. So you can see, so if I bring that one into there, so look how you've got that there. Now, if we then bring these layers in, so you could mix and match, so you can have them in the back, in the front, so you can create your scenes, your dimension, as if you're looking out, looking in, so it's up to yourself. But I believe we do have uh, some uh, info on uh, whether the stag or the deer. So Stephanie has said that the stag is a male deer, and uh, Joe is saying that the uh, female is, is a doe. So, that, so is that the sound of music? Do a deer, a female deer. There you go. Yeah, see, we won't go down that singing route. Not yet. 
Not yet, because I can't sing. That's why not, Ern and Liam. That's why not. Right, so what we've done, talking about Scotland, got to have a bit of plaid, a bit of tartan. So this is, in case you're wondering, this is just from one of Sarah's uh, Winter Tales collection. So we've got this layered up here. Now you can, of course, pop that onto a card blank. I'm just going to simply layer it up for the moment, but it's going to let you see how you can then pop it into a frame. So this is where your home decor comes. This is where Monday Makers come into play to let you see all these different things that you can be doing. So what we can do is let's bring in our stag that we've got here. I think, no, it's a deer that we got because you've got the deer, so you can see here. Well, well then what I can just do is bring in another piece of cardstock. So this is another bit of craft card that we've got. Now this blue, this is any inking technique, sparkle technique. Again, this is the sort of thing, if you tune into Monday Makers, you're going to see taking it to the next level. So this is going to be our backdrop here. So then what we can just do is if we start to bring these in, we can layer, we can have some fun and play about with how it looks. So if I bring in this one here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our dotty tape runner that you can see. This is dotty because then this just means the adhesive is just going to go onto all of these tiny little die cut elements here. So I'm going to go all the way around. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that over the top. So I've cut my blue cardstock because it could be part and paper if you want, just to the right size. So you can see how you've got obviously that backdrop. So that could then be uh, obviously night time. That could then be obviously the morning time. It could be crispy or summer, any time of the year that you so wish. So then what I'm also going to do is if I bring in, let's bring in some foam pads. Cannot have the first show without popping some foam pads on. So this is just going to add a bit of height. So we can just pop all these ones all the way around. Again, bringing in more height to your card. You don't have to use height if you don't want to, but sometimes it really does look quite effective. This one here, what I'm going to do, popping some double-sided tape all the way around. This is then going to sit nicely over the top, and we're just going to place that into place, and I'm just going to press. Bringing in our foam pads, I would then pop more foam pads behind the deers just to really stabilize on the backdrop, but I'm just going to take these ones off. Could use your Colal glue gel if you want. If I set that one over the top, and that's going to sit nicely, and that's all that I'm going to do. You do get your dies, so you've got your sentiments, so you've got deer, you've got friend, you've got the moon, you've got the star. So you can have a play. You can change, obviously, the, the scenes, the seasons, the way it looks, the size whether it's a card, whether it is obviously home decor. If you tune into Monday Makers later on, I've got a couple of demonstrations using this range. I've got another one with this selection here, with the deer, and I'm going to show you how you can do more of a concept, taking it away from card making. But what we can do before uh, we go on to our next bit, another wee bit of a teaser, I'm looking forward to this next bit as well. Let's have a look and let's uh, say, say, say hello to so many of you saying, uh, Diane, love seeing the picture of Craig's life. Oh yeah, that was uh, obviously me and, me and mum from many years ago. Uh, Karen saying what a special relationship you and your mum have. Uh, the love is obvious, obvious and she must be so proud. I, well, she says that she's proud. I know that she's proud. We are very close. Obviously, she alluded to, obviously, my, my health of Crohn, so that's made us really close over the years as well. Um, can Diane saying, Craig, can you share the birthday card you sent your mum for her birthday a few days ago? I, I absolutely, I can do. No problem. I know my mum won't mind. So if she's probably still watching this. So mum, if you take a picture, send it to me. I can pop it onto my social media. If, if she's maybe going away for a cup of tea, I'll get a picture later on, don't worry. Uh, Tammy saying, stag is a male deer, doe is a female deer. Uh, we've got Di, Ta is saying, uh, when we go to the Cairn River, glamping, we feed the deer every day. They lay, love corn tortillas. Mm, there's some in. I, d I doubt they'll like the dip and the cheese to go with it. I wouldn't have, you never know, they might do. They might come up to us, they are so beautiful. God, I've never seen a stag or a deer so clue. Right, okay, doke. Now, on Monday Makers, I almost forgot to tell you, we are, you wait for this, you ready for this? For the first one of 2021, we are going to be showing you and telling you who our first craft ambassador is. That's our first craft ambassador of 2021. So we're going to be showing you. So now, are you ready for this one? We're going to show you, we're going to bring you New guest, new guest for it for my show. I could not have a show without having this person on. My good, good, good friend, never, never, never too scared to dress up, 
have fun, and I don't know if he's in his comfies or if he's dressed up a dog or what he is, but I've got to have Ben. Ben's on the show. Hey, Ben, can you hear me? I can, mate. Hey, look at you. Oh, who's that that you've got? Uh, well, yeah, the thing is, first of all, I've been watching What a Brilliant Show first up, and secondly, oh. I saw your mum earlier, she was all dressed up, and I I'm literally here in my comfy, so I haven't brushed my hair or anything, and the dogs <laughs> joined me as well, look, Matt's waving, hello, oh, hello. there he is, look. Oh, I could guarantee my mum's probably been up from like 5 a.m. trying to get ready because that's just what she's like. She was all nervous. She's the one that was <laughs> nervous and it's me that's odd. But, you know, thank Ben. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in. I really appreciate it and zooming in. Now, when, when you're at home, what's it that you've been doing? I know you've been doing a bit of homeschooling, haven't you? You've been doing things just to pass the time. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what? It was, it was funny, actually, watching Sarah earlier on, other dogs going now. Um, yeah, I've been doing a bit of running, trying to get fit again, but um, Laura actually likes it. My wife likes it when I'm home because um, I don't know whether it's my company style particularly. I think it's more for the fact that I'm here, um, able to help out with the homeschooling and stuff with the kids because obviously they're, they're home now. Yeah. Uh, I've got a little boy who's uh, 12. Um, his work is a little bit too difficult for me to help out with, um, so I, t I, I tend to steer clear of that. Um, but my, uh, my daughter's nine and um, I'm helping her with her work. It's funny, actually, today, we normally do it in the lounge. Um, she's gone up into the dining room. She seems to be getting on with it all right today. So whether or not my teaching has been so good that she now doesn't need my help anymore, um, I don't know. But it's stuff like, I don't know if you, you can do any of this. I've, I've had to, she's not listening. Um, I've had to um, Google stuff like long division and long multiplication. Have you done that recently? Because <laughs> I haven't. I can't say I've done it recently, but I have done it in the past. Uh, my little cousins, they are, are out of school now, they're a bit older, but when I was looking at their homework and that in the past, I was like, I haven't got a clue where to start. Would not have a clue where to start. Not a clue. <laughs> not at all. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely right. I, I do little things like, you know, we'll be sort of working in here. It's like, oh, Daddy, what, how do we work this one out? And I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go and make a cup of tea and I'll go out quickly, Google. Yeah, yeah. Long <laughs> yeah. 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 That must be, it must be just trying to uh, find, uh, obviously, the, the best way, I suppose, best way to explain it, so to say, if you can, yourself. Um, but, you know, what's, uh, what's, is there a subject or that you, you are more comfortable with? If, you know, if the kids come up to you and go, Dad, can you help me with this? And you're like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, fr well, French, I did A-level French, and funny enough, um, George was doing a bit of that the other day, but again, he didn't really need my help, but uh, French I'm pretty good at. Uh, mu music as well, although they don't get a lot of music homework. Um, I'm, I'm thinking, actually, you know, um, art and craft and stuff they get now and again. So, uh, you know, if ever that comes up, I'm thinking maybe I could, you know, tap you up on the old phone and uh, yeah. get you to homeschool them down the phone. That absolutely no problem at all. It could be like uh, yeah, skyping in or that and doing a, a bit of a craft in. But actually, I want to actually go back to what you just said a minute ago. So, when it's saying to music, do you sing or can you play an instrument? You know, what kind of music is it that you like to do? Um, but a bit of everything. Do you know what? I, don't, I think I ever told you, but when I was um, younger, my, my mum, she just wanted me to learn like every single musical instrument under the sun, whether or not she wanted me to be like a one man band or something. I'm not quite sure, but I learned the piano, violin, guitar. Um, so I, I always say I do a, a few things to a very average standard, but I would say if you wanted me to play you a tune, um, it would, I, I'd go on the piano, I think is probably what I would do. Maybe that's something for another wake up call. I'll get on the piano. We'll have a sing along one morning. Oh, absolutely. I'm sure we could manage to get a piano in sometime, you know, or maybe, you know, if you've got one, you can bring it in as well. That would be good. The only thing I can do is, you know, the film big, you know, when you've got the big keyboard on the ground, you just <laughs> yeah. jump about. That, that I could do. I could do. You maybe do, I don't know, do a musical instrument. I'll just jump about. I'm used to that. Kind of used to that. Right. Absolutely, I'm, um, I'm, I'm well up for that. If you can get that in, maybe we'll do a little, uh, little duet together. That would be something to tune in for. Oh, yeah, yeah. But actually, what I want to actually now ask you, Ben, is uh, when is it that you're next in now? Because I can't believe we're actually coming at the end of the show already. But I know, I know that you're in later this week, but I don't know when. I'm with you on Wednesday, I think. I'm, oh, it's I'm me. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, I'm sure, you're, I'm sure I'm with you on Wednesday. I've, I've got a few shows with you because, of course, the new schedule, we've got all these new shows. I've yeah. got to be honest with you. I don't know whether I'm coming or going, um, but I'm, I know I have got some shows with you at some point in the next three days. Yeah, that's right, yeah, because I'm in a lot of the shows as well, just to help out, just to leave out the uh, schedule for this week. So, oh, well, that's fine then, that's good. I know who I'm on with on Wednesday. Ben, again, thank you so much uh, for uh, Skyping in. It was so good to actually see you and uh, coming in onto the first show. And I'll uh, definitely be doing it again, that is for sure. 
Absolutely loved it. And just before you go, you, you sure you don't want to do any long division or long multiplication with me before you disappear? Because I've got loads of songs you can tackle if you've got time. So, ben, sorry, sorry, can't, can't hear you. Sorry, Ben. Craig, ben, are you there? Ben, 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 no, oh, no. Oh, he's gone, he's gone. Oh, he's gone, sorry. Sorry, but Ben. Yeah. If anyone can, if you can maybe just let Ben know and say that, I would have, but obviously, just connection's gone. Connection has gone. Righty go. Let's have a look and let's see what we were actually making throughout this first show here. So we used a selection of products, three of uh, the products that I chose myself that are coming up throughout the, uh, the show today. So let's bring in these ones here. So these are our double-sided dies. So these are the double-sided dies that create your boxes. So these ones here, one pass through, are going to create the box we can then just show you how it actually looks remember within craftful it is buy one get two free so you're going to buy the double sided die box you're then well this is actually what it's going to look like so this is your box here so that is the box that you're going to get and then what you're going to do with it you're going to get your stamp set so you've got your stamps to create with it but then you're also going to get your card stock that you know it's not cut yours will be nice and pristine in a box that is part from a sarah's signature so you're getting four separate colors and you're getting six of each of these ones here so that's coming up on craft Hall at 11 a.m but then coming up on masterclass is the border word edgeable so actually let's bring the box back in again this is what you can make something like this one it's going to be debbie it's going to be joe that's going to be on the master class 1 p.m. here in the UK, 8 a.m. Eastern time. So you can see whether it's the box, whether it's going to be a card, whether it might just be a little wrap around a napkin because you've got a selection of different sentiments that you've got on. It's not just congratulations, it's things like best wishes and that as well. They're going to die cut so many different things. You've got happy birthday, you've got uh, thinking of you, you've got congratulations, best wishes, thank you, with love, hello and good luck. And if you think I memorised that, no chance. Thank you, Erin. Then, when coming up later on on 4pm, we've then got what we were actually just making, which is Monday Makers. So if I bring my... Now, what, see, I'm in a complete mess, just like I am when I am at home. So let's bring this one back in. This is what we made. This is our animal silhouette dies. So this is the one that I used with the deer. Now, keep in mind, if you are stateside, you wouldn't have got the option of the deer on HSM. You get the deer, you get the rabbit, you also get the butterfly and you also get the bee. So it was the bee that wasn't available on HSN that you can now get within this bundle. So that's going to be on Monday Makers. That's going to be 4 p.m. here in the UK, 11 a.m. Eastern time. That's also going to be with Joe and with myself. Monday Makers, that is all about just taking it that one step further, that little bit beyond card making can do it with card making, but it's just taking it to that one step further. Then, finishing off the day, we're then just going to finish off with another craft vault, the last one of the day. So it's going to be products that you've seen again, get your uh, hands on them, but then I'm going to show you another take as well. That's going to be at 7pm here in the UK, 2pm Eastern time. Well, okay, the, the sweating can stop. The heart, that can slow down a bit, but I have had an absolute blast. Thank you so much for tuning in for the very first show of Wake Up Call with Craig. Thank you very much, Erin, and of course to Liam and Adam as well. We're going to be back tomorrow at the exact same time, 9 a.m. here in the UK for an hour. It's going to be 4 a.m. 4 Eastern time, 1 a.m. Pacific time. I know there's some of you that are actually up watching, so thank you so much. So what I want you to do is then just comment. Let me know what you're wanting to see. Promise, as the week goes on, I will get better with demoing and chatting away with you onto uh, online so just to see what you're going to be seeing what you're going to be actually making as well it's going to be good to see i'm going to be back i'm going to get a quick cup of tea i'm then going to go and uh, grab my stuff you're going to see me right back here for craft fall and i watch that in about an hour's time an hour's time just time for a bit of cup of tea and then uh, we'll be back then to show you some more so thank you once again stay safe stay well and we'll see you then bye